What is up everybody? It's Patrick from WP Builder Helper here today with another very special video for you. So a lot of people have been complaining on the Brizzy forums about some of the stuff. Uh, I know one person had said that they had seen, they did gone through all the tutorials and they just don't understand some of the things that are basically dynamic data. So I thought I would take the time to kind of go over it with you. You know, I'm not an expert by any means, so please take this with a grain of salt. But I think some of the frustrations that people have been having are legitimate concerns about what's going on right now. And while I don't have all the answers because I don't work for Brizzy or do anything like that, I do try and listen to all of their uh, their stuff that they come out with their uh, town hall meetings, and I think that a lot of the people, their frustrations would be resolved if they listen to a lot of that. And so today we're going to take and we're going to look at some of the dynamic stuff and why these people are struggling and they're getting things a little bit confused and a little thing, a little um, you know out of the way. So. Let's start with some basic level dynamic stuff, which should be building a blog. That's what everyone's been talking about, building a blog and why is it so hard on Brizzy. So it's not really hard. You just have to understand some things. So I have a website right now, and this is like my demo Brizzy website. So if we go to it, you'll see it's got some, some demo stuff on it. And I didn't save this page, but uh, let me update it real quick. So this is just some demo stuff that I put together. It's not anything special, but that's not the point. The point is I imported a bunch of posts. As you can see here, I've got like literally 52 posts that I've imported getting some, you know, just some basic stuff that I could use. So let's go in and let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take and I'm going to build a news page. So that's what this was. And I'll, if I have any stuff on here, I'll delete it. Yes. So let's delete this. Let's start fresh. Let's wait for it to load because this is rather slow on uh, local. But so we're going to wait for it to load. And the first thing that you want to know is people get frustrated trying to understand the difference between some of these different post options. They don't understand what they are. So if you're someone who is designing a post page, you're probably going to want to stick to more of these options because these are individual things. So post title, for instance, if we, uh, if we let's, let's open, let's do this, and let's click the post title, and let's add it here. Do we have to add a row first? I think we do. Let's add a row right there, and we'll delete this, and We'll click inside and we'll do a post title so that you can see what I'm talking about. So a post title um, is basically just a, it's a title that's dynamic. So for instance, if we go into some of these options, you can kind of play with this title. Like basically if you do a hashtag, I believe, a hashtag brings up the dynamic content if I can remember correctly. Let me see if I can get it to work. Once again, it's on a local server, so that tends to be a pain in the butt, but it is what it is. So, no, this might actually be taking it specifically from um, actual content from a post. So that could be where this is coming from. Let's see. Because usually with Brizzy, with you know all of their options, you have to you have to usually play around with it and see where the stuff is coming from. So in this case, I'm not exactly sure, you know. And this is one of the frustrating things I think that people run into is the post title. So where is it grabbing this from? Where are the options? And some things with Brizzy are not exactly. I think that this is just a page title, if I had to guess. So. See, they're calling things different names, and they don't mean to do it on purpose. They're, they're just, what you're expecting is not what you're thinking. So, they try and standardize things. They try and make it the Brizzy way, which I've understood is meaning 
they they dumb it down to the point where you don't have to think. So what this is doing is this is taking the title of the page. It took me a couple of minutes to figure that out, obviously. You saw me struggle there. But the point is, is that this is a post title. So if you put it on a page, it'll grab whatever that page's post title is. So if this were a Gutenberg page and you called that about dogs, it would be about dogs. You don't have to change it. You don't have to do anything with it. As a matter of fact, there's very few options other than your basic options of your text and your colors. And there's not even the ability to add shadows to it, which is kind of interesting. Because you would think that they would have the ability to add shadows and things like that. But this is one of the things that I'm talking about. Brizzy has a very unique way of doing things. So excerpt is going to be the excerpt of the page. What does that page have in its excerpt? So in this page, it has a bunch of this crap as the excerpt, which is sometimes, you know, bad because you don't want to throw random crap in there. You could do publisher info. So this would be the info of who published it, dates and everything like that. So if we go in here, Typically, you'll be able to change, you know, the location of this. And I think that if you go in here, you can delete it. You can add things to it. So there may be other things that you want to add, like, like let's delete time and then try and add it back. Okay, so time ends up at the bottom. So this is everything that you can add to this, which is pretty cool. And you can kind of set it up in different ways. You can adjust the spacing. So if you want more spacing or less spacing, you can adjust it. You can adjust the color, you can adjust the icons, which I think is a good thing. That's, you know, that's pretty cool. Still no shadows, which would be interesting. I think, you know, having shadows on things and having some more effects to things, to text and everything, you're not gonna wanna use that for everything, but sometimes you may wanna add shadows to it just because maybe you have this over an image or something like that. You, you have no idea how this is being used. But the whole point is if you're building a post, you're going to be using these type of things. And then you've got uh, post content. So post content would actually be the page content. So this is the content on the page, which looks terrible because it's got a bunch of links and different, different things like that. But once again, the point is not to make this look pretty. I'm just trying to show you exactly what it looks like. And then we've got post navigation. So we'd probably want this at the top. This is, you know previous and next. I wish there were a few more options with this. You've got breadcrumbs if you wanted to add breadcrumbs to the page. Usually something like this would be underneath the page right here and maybe to the left like that. And uh, let's take this and let's drag this where it should be, which technically should be at the bottom of the page where it should be. And uh, and then we go in here and we look at the rest of the stuff and you forgot post navigation we've already done that post this post that and that's it there you there you have it there's your post so if you were to take and you wanted to make this special of course you could do you know images and break things out in certain you know layouts you could have this as a as a certain type of uh in a certain container by itself so that it takes up the whole entire top space you could, I mean, there's plenty of stuff you can do. So essentially you can build a page. You can build a theme, I should say, or a template uh, using that applies to post. And then uh, that would apply to all your posts. But that's probably not what you're here for. So let's, let's take you through the post. I think where some people are getting frustrated, at least from what I'm seeing on the comments, is this in itself. So the post this post piece is is a little bit broken and I, I think Brizzy knows this is broken but essentially what's broken about it is if you're building a post like say you wanted to make a news block and you're like okay I want to make a news block and I want to you know I want to do I want to do uh, three posts uh, here and then underneath it I want to take and like so let's Let's take and duplicate this. So I'm gonna duplicate it, right? And then on this one, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna to wanna to go, rather than doing, you know, two posts, I wanna do, I mean, rather than doing three, I wanna do two posts, so it's like a masonry style. So in order to do this type of thing, first off, you gotta know one thing. Each section of these posts that you put on a page, they're attached to a specific category which can be found in the filter area so in this case you know these blocks that i've uh, been working with 
they've got I've got a ton of categories in here but you're you're gonna attach them to categories or tags or whatever you want they're gonna be attached to one or the other there's no all tag and to me that's a limiting factor of this I know it's probably coming but there is no all tag in here and so let's just pick block just for giggles and let's click update and then let's see what this page looks like because you can see right now there's no images there's no nothing and to someone someone might say well wait they're all say the same thing they're saying this you got to understand in this preview you don't get to see everything that's happening it almost works like the old way of page builders where you have to you have to click update then you have to go to the page and you have to update it and you have to see what it looks like on the front end and that's the way it works so you can see I've got a 3-2 build here 3 here 2 here but one of the things you're gonna notice is I've got 3-2 but then here's where it gets frustrating okay well what if I want to continue the block pattern so let's say I go down here okay I'm you know I'm new to blogging or whatever I'm new to Brizzy and I take I want to add in you know more of the blocks right you would think that it would have like some kind of maybe some kind of back end that would let you know okay it's already used these blocks so don't use them again so we'll take and we'll click update on it and you take and you go and update the page and you wait for it to update because local by flywheel is is uh is done and you go wait a second wait this is the same image what why is this the same image why is this this why what what that's because each post block that you use, so if I were to go in here and let's say I turn this to three rows, and now we've got three rows of post blocks, and then we've got two rows. It doesn't know that this post has repeated. Now I'm hoping in the future they're gonna fix this, I'm sure that they will, but it doesn't know that it's repeated. So if you're somebody who's building blocks on a page, and you don't see the pictures and you don't see the links and you're wondering why the hell I mean I'm just not seeing it I don't get it why I'm updating this these pictures aren't changing that's because you have to view them on the front end the same happens with WooCommerce and everything else so if you're one of those people who's been struggling with Brizzy these are just what I would call um, they're they're like bugs that they're working through essentially they are going to be coming out with better uh block better dynamic content it just hasn't come out yet but it's coming they're going to have smarter dynamic content and i hope one of the things that they're going to have will be able to look if is if you drop blocks on a page i'd like i'd like a bunch of different things but one of the things i'd really like is a masonry grid where you can have you know different sizes of you know because this is just wasted space and this looks terrible here but Brizzy doesn't have anything where you can go in and you can do that unless unless here's the catch unless you want to take and go build this yourself so technically speaking you could go into a page you could take and start a page create your own columns like let's say this and let's go to columns and we'll drop a column in here and we'll drop another column in here let's do that let's add in another column okay then we're gonna go in here and we're gonna add in a post title and I don't even think you can do this with the post title because this is just the post title so you wouldn't be able to use that you would have to use the regular text function and you would have to do the dynamic data, which still, I believe, works with post title like this. And then I think that that'll give you a post title, although I think that that's just still, yeah, that doesn't give you a category or anything. So you can't specifically go in and tell it which post title you're trying to use. So essentially, there is no way to add in custom post titles okay because I was gonna say if you could build it then that would be cool but you really can't build it hmm yeah that's that's just a drawback 
and, and you know it's one of these things that they're working on you can't really get frustrated with it but if you're someone who's coming from like elementor or something like that you're going to get a little frustrated because this works much differently than elementor so i hope this has helped you i know it's kind of short and i know that it's not real in depth but the point is is that this this is going to be changed in the future brizzy has specifically said dimitri in the town halls that they are looking at ways to live update this for woocommerce and for the blog section so i'm hoping that they're going to take and do that and also come out with some masonry stuff where you're not just stuck with these standard uh blog templates where it's just rows and columns I'm, i was looking for something where it's a little bit more in depth than this you know a little bit more a little bit more fun to play with a little bit more options have your blog you know maybe have some different things that you can do with your blog where it's not just all in one row it would be cool if there were some things like that so i hope this has helped you guys out if you're brand new to this channel like and subscribe down below thank you for joining me and i will see you guys next time